At the end of our last toe-to-toe -to -toe video, you may have heard me mutter these words. I'm trying to get the Wilson. I don't know if it's going to happen, I'll be honest, but I'm trying my best. So yes, I've tried my absolute best to get hold of these irons that everyone voted for. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I never expected this. Completely caught, caught me off guard and I can't get hold of Wilson irons. That's the be all, of it, be all end all. I promised everyone I'm going to do this and now I can't. Or can I? You have no idea the emotional roller coaster that I've been on to get these irons on this channel for you guys. Oh, I've asked everyone, every single person, including the Queen. It just happens to be that my mate had purchased some from the UK. He sent them. They're here. Hello, you beautiful iron. He sent them via Scrat the Squirrel from Ice Age, but still, they're here. If you've got one lesson to, t to teach you guys from this video, it's not what you know, it's definitely who you know. Anyway, on to the important stuff, shall we? This is so much more than an iron, it really is. It's paying homage to some of the greatest players to have ever chased a white ball around a field. I will happily celebrate with this iron any day or night. That sounds awesome. Oh hey, um, I wasn't starting without you, I just um, wanted to hit one because it uh, told, me, told me to. It is no lie, I've been out of touch with Wilson products for many years. I don't think I've ever reviewed a Wilson product in my years of reviewing, and that's a few years. But I adore the stuff, especially when it looks like this. But this is all reincarnated from the 2014 FG Tour 100, celebrating 100 years of Wilson making golf clubs. It was probably the best looking iron to have ever graced the links. Wilson definitely played their top trump card making that FG Tour 100, no doubt. But the problem is, it's now time to reshuffle the deck. Have they pulled the top trump card again making this baby? So comment below, do you think this is better looking than that of the FG Tour. I would love to know your opinion. I've got mine. So my opinion is, as good looking as that was, I don't mean really good looking, it was quite modern looking. This is a bit more traditional, I think. It's a bit cleaner and it's just so pure. <laughs> good. Um, there was an insect and I tried to hit the insect, but I hit the ball instead and it's gone on the green. Oh no, I've smudged it. Damn it. Here we go. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who would look the best in plus fours? Don't know where that one came from, I'll be honest. Let's talk about tech, shall we? So it's forged with 8620 carbon steel. It's got a milled face to improve feel and control. I can assure you it feels outrageously good. Also enhancing the feel of this iron is the fluid feel hosel. This allows Wilson to redistribute the weight to improve the CG location for improved feel and performance. And the last bit of tech in this iron is Gary Woodland. Gary Woodland is not in this iron. Gary Woodland is basically technology because he's a machine and he plays Wilson, so he does qualify in this list. Nice one, Gary. I don't know if you saw earlier, but I did accidentally on purpose hit two shots. Happened to go really well. Just a coincidence, I can assure you. But the green is 180 meters away. We're going steady. This is not an iron to smash, it's an iron to caress. 180 meters, 34 degree seven iron, third shot, I'm excited. That is actually, that's actually gone in the hole, hasn't it? Now, I get really excited at this. This feels so good. If I'm smiling like I've passed wind, it's because I love this iron. I love it and probably because I passed wind. But at a dress position <laughs> is the cleanest thing I've ever seen. Um, thin top line, limited offset, short blade length. But the difference is, for me, towards the heel, it seems to get really, really thin and narrow, and then it 
just goes bang towards the toe. And that's the shape that I really do like. It's so attractive. I am fighting the hooks with the swing. You can probably tell that, but it's not stopping me enjoying this feel. Oh, 7-2 on the backspin, 7-iron, perfect. As I'm always honest with you, it's not the softest feeling iron I've ever had in my hands. Could be down to how it's been forged, but the good thing about that is we've got feedback. Again, if you're gonna have this iron, you want feedback, you don't want it to be dead all over the face, but I know exactly which part of the toe I'm hitting this. <laughs> I can assure you, it's the tail. The feedback in this iron is that good. The only thing it's missing is it's shouting at me. That was the tail. That could be a new idea for Wilson's new iron. We can go halves on it. I think it's a really good idea. I don't know what you think. That was the heel. Quit and start bowling. Well, I found every part of the face apart from the center. That was very low in the face. Hence why we're up now at 7.5 on the backspin. Let's have a look at these numbers. A lot of those have been right to left. I'm very interested as to whether we can get the shot shapes going. This is only a seven iron, um, but it'd be interesting to know whether we can get every single shot shape going. So we'll do the shot shaping test after the results. <laughs> Yes. So this paints a picture. This just reads, this man really enjoyed himself. That's all those numbers say. Because I really enjoyed the experience with this iron. The numbers couldn't really care. I couldn't. And that's how it should be with this kind of iron. You're not going to get the distance that you would with other irons that are big and chunky and all that tech. It's just enjoying the feel, the spin, and this is exactly what we've got. So club head speed was 98. Usually we'd look at 101 to 103, so it's slightly down because they enjoyed the experience, I suppose. <laughs> Ball speed, 131. Total distance, carry distance was 173. Backspin, 7,000 RPM. A lot of side spin. Um, you're gonna get that with this iron. It's designed to be workable. A lot of right to left, 1,000 RPM side spin left which is pretty hefty. It's a good job I was starting it right so it didn't look as bad. But on that bombshell, <laughs> I'm gonna go and do the shot shaping test. I'm not gonna say anything anymore, just wow. Thank you to my mate in the UK for sending it. I'm not gonna send it back. I hope you realize you're gonna be without these irons, just so you know. Please hit subscribe, many videos coming up, and I always love you being a part of Team Al. So follow me on social media, and thank you, as always. <laughs> well, hello everyone that's still here. I know a lot of you enjoy this part of the video. If you haven't seen this before, what I do is, everything is just raw footage. It's not cut, I will fast forward parts, but what happens is I'll hit one high draw, low draw, high fade, low fade, stinger, and then one as hard as possible. It's pretty quick. It's not always gonna to go to plan, it doesn't, but that's part of the game. Let's do it. Okay, first shot happens to be our favorite, which is a high draw. We've been doing it all day, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen right now, when we need it. But we've got it. If this goes smoothly, it could be like, a, like Swan Lake. Oh, stop it. Get down, get down, get down. I just made it. That's fading, I think. Right. How has that gone 177 left? No, no. High fade, version two. Right, it's really gonna move now. Oh no. Come on. That is definitely moving left to right. Yeah, I played that. 428 right. Pfft. 
No. <sighs> That's the one. Better. Oh, it's fading, I think, but take it. It's acceptable. Just spun straight up in the air. Not that much further. 104 club head speed, 138 ball speed. Just always fun. I love that test. Well, I do and I don't, but guys, thank you very much.